What is this item called? Oh, Aegis use. Another Aegis, of course. We have the Aegis getting taken the one. I can use this Aegis. Wrong. Aegis is not just some fantasy word that Dota made up. It's a word from Greek mythology. Aegis is typically associated with Zeus and Athena. It's either portrayed as a shield or a cloak or some sort of breastplate. In any case, something that protects you. And in English, the word is mostly used in the phrase under the aegis of, which means something like under someone's protection or leadership or guidance. And pretty much all the dictionaries agree that aegis is the only correct pronunciation in English. Aegis. 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 American English, Aegis. 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 American English also. Aegis. It's always Aegis. Aegis. Well, every dictionary agrees on this Aegis pronunciation. Aegis. Merriam Webster actually also gives us an alternative uh, um, pronunciation. Aegis. And this alternative pronunciation is basically just a result of this descriptivist approach to linguistics that basically says that correct language is whatever language people commonly use. So if enough people make this mistake of pronouncing it Aegis, then at some point it becomes a correct alternative. But this is the proper pronunciation. If you don't want to sound like an idiot, this is how you're supposed to pronounce it. Aegis. By the way, as a total aside, may I just say that it's incredibly stupid to have this sort of phonetic description that they have here. Why don't they just use IPA like civilized people? They're using this weird script based on pronunciation of English letters, which is totally inconsistent anyway. So if I see this, I, and I had no idea how to pronounce the word, I would probably read it as Aegis, which is reasonably close to the modern Greek pronunciation of the word, but certainly will not do for English. Uh, so basically the idea is that they're using sort of the natural sounds of English letters, but that doesn't really work because there's no consistency in English phonology pretty much. And they're also using this letter. This is called a schwa, which stands for the vowel e, which is a symbol borrowed from IPA, from International Phonetic Alphabet, and is not something that most speakers of English know. So if you, don't, if you, if you can't read IPA, you're not going to be able to understand this either. So this just makes no sense, um, but anyway, so yes, it's Aegis, and this, by the way, is actually one area where English is fairly consistent with its pronunciation, because whenever you have this, a, this AE in a Latin loanword, it's almost always pronounced E. There are some exceptions, like uh, the word Ariel, but that's because it's from the Latin word Aer. So in this case, it's not a diphthong, it's just uh, two regular vowels next to each other. Um, but whenever it's this, it's this diphthong, AE from Latin, then it's E. So you have words like lavi, antennae, formulae, and also very daughter relevant, etherlens. It's not etherlens, etherlens. So get your pronunciation right. It's aegis, ether. And thank you for coming to my TED Talk.